Hey guys, what's up? Shadowlands back with another commentary. My voice is a bit dead today, so I'm going to apologize for that right off the bat. But today I wanted to go over what makes Combat Arms fun. What makes this a fun game? Why did it succeed when a whole lot of other free-to-play shooters failed? And a whole bunch of other stuff like that. I've said previously that I would have quit the game if it wasn't for YouTube and TOF and all that stuff. But the game itself is a lot of fun, which is kind of contradictory to what I was saying. And I still stand by that statement, and I wanted to explain that some more today since some of you guys were asking about that. So what makes Combat Arms fun? for me as well as other people why do people play this game still it's been five plus years since the game's come out why are we all still here playing it why are millions of people still registered for this game and playing it first of all keep in mind a lot of other first person shooters have failed in the past year arctic combat failed sudden attack failed soldier front 2 is doing quite well and a lot of other games like that have done a really, really good job, and they're still free to play. Granted, there's a lot of paid shooters like Counter-Strike and Modern Warfare and all these other games that have come out, so of course they're going to do well because they're console games or they're really well-known computer games. So let's go right on in and say why we think Combat Arms is a really good game, and why do people actually play it. So first of all, I think a lot of the biggest thing that comes with a new free-to-play game is the fact that you get a lot of frequent updates. You get a lot of content updates. Combat Arms gets good content updates two to four times a month. We see new maps, new modes, all this new stuff, new guns. And then that brings me to my next thing. Combat Arms started with a massive gun base. If you look at a lot of other games, they don't have anywhere near the number of guns this does. Now, unless you look at a game like Borderlands, which is not even free to play, you don't see nearly as much of a gun variety or map variety. You usually see about 20 maps per game. This game has well over 40, and it has lots of different modes that are all really popular, and they're all well played. Not to mention, the player base is really, really good, and it was able to start up a big YouTube community. So that's why I think it was successful. But why is the game actually fun? First of all, I think it's a very, very dynamic game. The game has a lot to it, which is really good, but there's a lot of stuff that players can do with the game. When you have a more dynamic game, players are able to do more with the game. They're able to figure out new stuff, come up with new things, and that's why we have stuff like CGL and other YouTubers and stuff. That's why we have the whole community on YouTube. That's why we have the forums community, and that's why it's partially been so successful is because of outside media and other stuff that we've been able to do with the game. Now, granted, not all of this other stuff has been particularly good. We've seen, like, water-only power leveling and a bunch of stuff like that. But I think, overall, we've had a really, really good impression with the community and stuff that's gone around. Now, granted, the actual game's community is pretty bad, like I said before, but the actual support that the game gets from outside is one of the reasons that we're able to continue enjoying the game. And part of that is also why they're able to get so many frequent updates. If Nexon didn't have all the support that it does for the game, YouTube, and all this free advertising they get through all of us, then it probably would not be as a well-funded game and it would not get as many updates and therefore would not be as fun to play. A game that has more to it will always be more fun to play because there's always something new. The game is always evolving and changing to meet the player's needs. If you look at Call of Duty, they release a gun and if it's overpowered, oh, too bad, it's never going to get changed and people are going to go through that and just it's not going to be fun anymore because people are going to be using it. Every gun will be a maxes or one gun that is a maxes will never get patched or fixed or downgraded or whatever it needs to be done. But this game is an evolving game that a lot of people play, and that's one of the number one things that helps a game survive and do well in the gaming industry. I say this as a game designer myself, and honestly, I think it's one of the biggest points to a game. So whenever you're designing your own game, or playing a game, think about what actually, why are you having fun with this game? Is it because of the flashy effects? Is it because the player base gets a lot of updates? I think that's Combat Arms' biggest strength, in my opinion, but I'm sure there are other reasons as well. But anyway, I hope you guys have really enjoyed this commentary. I put a little bit of time and thought into it, so hope it was a bit better than usual. Please check out the description below for TeamSpeak Facebook and a lot of other cool stuff. So I will see you guys in the next video. Shadowlance out.